okay guys so we're talking about the database right you know in database what gonna happen just think like this see relationship right relationship in database how it work let's say this is a user in any time right you have a user right user you are the user and now you imagine you, you have the post right post here post so this is a post correct one post one post maybe or many posts right post so user table from user table user can create many posts right i mean there will be many posts in the user so user is allowed to create many posts in the database right so one user to many post one to many see they're in the relationship right in database there are one to one one to many many to many like that right the table just user is just a table remember that this is a table inside that table there will be the post let's say there will be something called post uh, field like post field which is guide type of array and inside you have the id of the post so let's say user this user one creates post of like id two three maybe six like that right so you store the post id here because you you can create many posts so now in the post also you need to make a relationship establish the relationship right you're gonna you're gonna put here okay this post belongs to which user right which user so say user might have the id user have id right there is id let's say this user id is 100 so this post now can have that id 100 okay so uh here let's say okay i'm clicking the wrong button i don't know why it's not typing right or i'll just write okay so let's say in this post you're gonna have id 100 okay this post there is another post so who created this maybe with the user of the id 100 create that post another post again so who create this user with id 100 right so you need a user id here also and then establish the relation between these two right uh you know like between the post table and the user table right a relationship so how are you going to do that let's look at that so same thing assigned issue so user can have many issue assigned now if you go to the issue table we have issue table remember uh we have right uh where is that here issue table so assigned to user id so this you know this from this this is just a table okay assign to user id basically one we just give one name here right this name is going to store the id of the user who is assigned this issue that is one thing and the next one is relationship right so this issue have a relationship with the user how are you going to do that in the schema here in the prisma schema right you call the user model you give any name here okay this is anything right but let's call it assigned to user then user model and you know the question mark is basically see this field can be optional right like optional maybe there will be assigned user uh, or basically assigned uh, issue or maybe not right so the question mark means optional if there is a data you can store in this field if no data is okay right and then relation relation you call the relation property with inside you're gonna pass two things uh the fields call on this uh, square bracket with assigned user id right this one so this user id is related to who referring to the id of the user ta uh, table to the user this id right so this id we're going to store here assigned to user id which is equal to 
the user ID. So that, that is how, that's how you establish the relationship, you know. You're going to see something here also, right, like a relation, field, all that. So there is a relation with user because account, right, user can have, you know, this account is related to the user also. So uh, this is how you establish relation. So now uh, if we go back here, right, let's add one. Uh, yeah, so we have to stop this server first. And then we need to, because this schema, right, we just update, we have to, you know, migrate to the database. So how you can do that? npx prisma uh, migrate, right? Dev. Oh, it will just delete everything now, right? Yeah, that's what happened. So let's call it maybe, let's call it issue, right? Yeah, so it migrated. If I go npx uh, prisma studio, right? So you can see now all these things. So let's uh look at the user table first right so see id name email email verified image account session uh assigned assigned issue look at this assigned issue right so zero issue assigned to the user like the first user right zero issue assigned this is an array okay stored the many many it can store many right now zero right uh, you gonna when you assign it will stored you know letter you're gonna see right how we're gonna update and the ID will be assigned here okay if you go back here uh, let's go to the issue and check so there are issue now see right now the user there is no user right assigned to user you don't have user here okay so this is optional that's why no problem it didn't give any error okay when you see the question mark that is optional you can have it or maybe not right so when you assign user user to this issue it will have the information here okay so uh we finish migrating data uh yeah we're done right so let's go back and work on the next step so let me commit this quickly. Uh, here, uh, let's do git add. And we call it, uh, you know, update schema, right? Schema we assign a uh, user. Okay, so we're done. Then what is the next step now? Uh, so you're going to select the user uh, that uh, has to be like updated with the API now, right? So that should be API. So let's check quickly here. If we have some, yeah, something should be there, you know, some code. So patch API, okay. So before the implementing the API now, right? Uh, okay. So this is the schema, okay. We we created the schema before also. So let's check. Let's look at that schema first, and then we're gonna talk about this. So let me close this file here, right? I think um, too many file open. Let me close all that. So the schema now. My my goal is to look for the schema, right? Because you're gonna update the you know you're gonna update the uh is user right you're gonna like what we're gonna do is uh npm run dev so every time when you migrate right make sure you turn off the server okay like you stop the server then do the migration if not it will give you error right so let's check now And how to this always give me headache. 
this uh, so here I will say localhost 3000 so click one of this issue and you're gonna select here okay when you select the this need to be this user information need to update in the issue right means issue this bug theory assigned to someone right so there is a user you know who is the user that id will be stored so this is like a updating right updating the issue database and also the user database because there is a relationship already right so just imagine you are updating the issue database and you're telling okay user one assigned to this issue right so the user one id will be stored there means patch update right updating so we have this schema you know i mean for creating and even for updating we have used this before right but this is used in different places so i believe we're gonna what we're gonna do is just create the new schema right same thing you know, we just add, we're gonna add one extra stuff okay so what we're gonna add is here we just get uh so schema this one right so there is import zard you know same stuff we just so let's look at this title description description and assign to user id right assign to user id so title you know z dot string mean value title is required max 225 you know 255 and this is optional now right when we remember when we do the update sometimes you are just changing what you are changing the user id so maybe that's why we have to make this optional now for update right sometimes uh you're not gonna have description also i mean here you don't have title and description right but that's why what you, we do is optional just put this optional block now so that it will not give you error right this optional means either you can have it or not right does not matter okay assign to user id so sometimes you can assign sometimes there will be empty right so either that will be null optional and also the value will be null in the beginning right so when you create the next time when you create the uh, let's say new issue then it's gonna have the new value called null nullable right null and this is also optional okay so z dot string you must define the type of data then you define like how many character minimum one character and then you can add some text here if there is a you know if there is nothing then you're gonna get this message error message right maximum how long can be this uh, this uh, assign issue id you know max value optional and null level so this is our blueprint right schema to upload the data done so now it's time to write the uh, api right so issue uh, view because inside the view id right so there is the edit okay there is an edit so edit you know like edit issue right okay okay i'm in the wrong place i should be going to the api and then work on that so let's go to the api issues this is a new right creating a new issue but update is here in id here okay so we now for update we're not going to use the old one right because now we are doing some extra stuff this same this one this uh, schema will be used for the update of the issue or maybe updating the user right assigning the user okay so that's why we're gonna call uh, import what is the schema name patch issue schema right that is what we're gonna call patch issue schema okay we got that now same thing uh, you know if you are here right uh, either you're gonna have the params 
like you're going to update by clicking the button right so during the params uh, you have the params if not you know there is some information right so how are you going to get that information by checking this schema right i mean see this body gonna have some data now you're gonna validate with our schema correct this validation dot data will give you uh, basically everything inside here right it's gonna have title description and assigned to user id correct so that is done we will check if the validation fail then return right if no validation return now here uh okay so let's add some code here now right because now we have extra uh next step you know like what i want to do first is destructure this body right so we're gonna get the title description and uh, what is the i think uh what is that assign issue id right that is what we're gonna get okay we have that so we will check uh based on this one right assign issue id assign issue id to the uh issue right assign is sorry user okay assign issue id you can assign to the user so we will check based on this id if there is user or not right we're gonna check so what we're gonna do is i mean even you can let's say if someone is not logged in right we'll be not able to update so you can add even the auth and all that let's not do that for now Yeah, so we're just gonna check if there is a sign issue id then do this right this must work okay so let's let me let me copy that so if there is a sign to user id if there is this id right available then you go fetch the data so how are you gonna fetch the data from user prisma.user find unique where id equal to assign user id right based on that you're gonna try to look for the user if there is no user just return right just return out and uh, yeah so that is all you know so that is what we have to do so we're checking if there is user or not right to assign uh, based on this i mean id okay we're gonna check if there is a user or not already okay we're gonna check prisma.user find unique where id equal to assign user id so if you check now here i mean we can verify right No, if you go to the user assigned user right assigned users field assigned users right so that's the field but uh, let's see issue assigned to user id okay i mean even that field right that that field gonna have assigned issues okay so okay so inside if the if there is an id or not right assign user id if there will be id or not we're gonna get that id you know based on uh this number where is that name right assign to user id okay so once we are here i mean we will check if there is no user then it will return the you know, invalid user and status right done then next step is same thing you know we will find the issue uh, this this is gonna happen right if there is a params if there is a params for update okay for update right so when you do the update let me go to the site here and you're gonna do update right when you click this button for update you're gonna make some changes correct so look at this this you know this is the id right for update okay so the this is called params params dot id params dot id right so when you are updating we're gonna check if there is issue or not also right because see we are using the same schema to handle the updating the uh assigned users and also updating the uh 
the issue right if you want to update issue so you can do both thing okay with this so if no issue you know if there is params it will run this code automatically it will check if no issue return that what we have done before same thing you know now finally update right so we cross all this part finally update issue prisma dot issue update uh issue id so this, these are all same from before okay only thing i have added is this part here okay and change the schema right because i want to tackle this also okay so when you update now you can update uh let's yeah we have to do some work here now right uh, title description then we can have new field called assign to user id right so we can just leave it like that you know you, you can destructure it just give the title description assigned to user id right you can do that because we have here already title description assigned to user id you can just use that right no need to do the body and all that so that's why this this structure there because these all are coming from the body right see from the body object we destructure this field so we can use it we don't have to do body dot title body dot description body dot assign to user id right we don't have to do if you if you have many field like this better to destructure it and just use that variable right here so you're passing title equal to body dot title description equal to body dot description and assign to user id equal to you know assign to user id right body dot assign to user id okay so that's done if everything looks okay then it will just return that right status 201 and done save so we we completed uh creating api we can test if not uh, let's move to the next part so i'm going to close this and i say hit add commit dash m and we're gonna you know git commit dash m we say create or basically you know update the issue patch api right patch api and git push okay guys so we're done so we have api ready now right okay you can hear the sound right outside people selling something anyway so the next step will be what we're going to do next step is use this api okay so where are we going to use now right so where are we going to use that uh we have to go to our code you know and find the input select field where is that inside the component not here right uh maybe in the issues view right in the component here so assign is select this one okay so here we're going to use that so let's we have import xus also right so let's write some code now so you know in here what we're going to do right we're going to have on change value on value change right on value change you're gonna okay let's do uh maybe let's write separate function right here uh const so what name i can give right uh maybe the change assignee something like that i think i put some name here let me get so i don't know where i put but here right yeah this the one so basically i'll just copy this and explain so just look at here now right there is some error uh because we are not we have not updated yet but let's say this is the assignee issue function this is the function right on value change you have to write like this callback function right like that and this will be uh, this is gonna have maybe user id right user id you can name it anything okay this is just a parameter what is this now so on select 
function remember you're gonna select one of the item right one of the user so when you select whoever right that person value is coming from the user id because we are mapping right we are mapping all the users the value is here so this value you have access on the unchange function here on value change right so on value change this is the user id you have access to so what we have done is we just separate this callback function and put it here right and we just call that here assign issue so that's the function this is just the function same function i was trying to write here right okay so okay, so we're gonna need now right see how you can update right which issue you're gonna update okay that's the point here you know so when you update right which issue so we have to pass that issue to this function also so let's destructure it here we're gonna we're gonna get the issue issue right and that issue is basically this issue is of type what uh i mean we can yeah let me call this straight right issue from the prisma client schema okay so i'm gonna destructure that and i will call it issue is basically the type of issue and that is fine so now assign is select the this form where we are using so inside the space right here okay not in this space but uh that should be details right in the detail space view and id yeah inside the d because here you're going to get to the detail space here right so see you already have this issue details you know just copy that and pass it so you're getting that issue right you're sending that issue straight here inside here so we have access to that issue so when you go to the you know because in the axios right sorry in the in the api api slash uh what is that api slash here right api slash issues slash id right because our schema not our schema but our api is inside uh, inside this api issues and id here so that's why i need to put this okay now i'm gonna send the data right and the data will be assigned to user id this is what i need because in my route here look at here look at the assign to user id right coming from the body this is what i'm gonna need correct so that's why and that is the field right uh, so that's why we have we are passing that uh let's see page here sorry in the in the uh in the assign select right so here we have to write some logic okay if the user id because sometimes user id id will be like undefined right so you, you make sure if the user id id is undefined then just store null because that is what we have even created in the model right uh, in the schema remember if there is nothing just use the null right but uh you know like if this is already on unassigned right if that is unassigned then use null else put the user id so user id is coming from here here right because we assigning user id to the value and i told you this value you can access when you are uh, you are having unchanged value here at right? unchanged value so when every time you change you're gonna get this value access and that is what we're gonna pass to this api so we have that user id right assigned to this field okay so that is done the next thing yeah i think that should work right uh, that should work you know so let's let's try okay let's see uh server running yeah so because once you're going to send this user id it will update the database 
So let's check. Go back here and let me update, right? Let me update that. So go go to the details page here, right? And I'm gonna assign something to somebody. So let's this is five, okay? The box five assign to dev, right? And so yeah i think we have, still need to do something but let's see if that this is updated or not you don't have to click update okay this is automatically happen right when you unchange okay unchange when you change something here unchange value it will automatically call this function and this function will take care it will, it will call that uh, patch function axios it will go to the api and update there right update this value so to verify that let's uh npx prisma studio right studio 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 let's go to the studio and check so we just assign issue to the user and look at here right so the issue is assigned to dev here okay if i click this issue so this issue five bug five and assign to user ID, right? So inside this issue, now you're gonna see assign to user ID, and the user ID is this ID right here. Assign to user, that is user, whatever, and then you're gonna is this there is a relation, you know, like assign to user ID and then assign to user, right? So that user ID is stored here already. Okay, so it's working fine. So now the only thing is right, uh, you know, like if if the issue is assigned to someone uh, right now let's let's refresh the page right if i will gonna refresh you see it's not appearing here right because this issue is assigned to somebody because that is the recorded in the database okay so if i refresh now let's see if there is any changes right so see we have the issue assigned to this user but i want to make sure display this user also right here so how are we gonna do that so we have to like add some default value and configure all that. So in the root here, right, uh, we're gonna say default value. And here we have to write some logic also. So before that, let's say if the issue is not assigned, right, what are we gonna do? You might have to put another label here, right? Like suggestion, then just put, uh, think uh, let me see either you're going to assign to one of the user yeah so let's add here something like that suggestion maybe unassigned right let's make it unassigned unassigned so when you have this select not label but you know that will be item okay select item right item select item okay so you need to put the key right not key but the value and that value will be uh, select item value right so that will be let's make it on ass ig assigned because yeah on assigned right if the unassigned this is the one exactly same this one okay you have to be make sure the spelling is correct right with this one unassigned fine uh so that you know maybe this is unassigned so we're gonna see here either unassigned you know like that or or maybe this right so the next thing is how we're gonna add default here uh the in the root we have to add some logic let me check quickly that logic so yeah so default value this one right uh, this is what we have to do
okay the bracket is already there let me remove one of the bracket so let's go through this right i think i copied so many things yeah so let's default value so default value means now remember issue table has assigned issue id so if there is already assigned issue id then display that right just display that information right assign issue id or that will be the default value right or make it unassigned okay so if there is already assigned issue uh, because uh, look at here right we have this issue we're getting this issue right already so if there is already the assign user uh, assigned to user id use that one else make it unassigned right unassigned and uh, yeah so that should be fine so let's see if we're getting because this issue was assigned to somebody right so let me refresh the page now and see that so it it just picked up that name right assigned to somebody okay with this logic here yeah, so assign to user id uh not there where is the default value so default value if something is already inside the issue which is related to this key, uh this property right assign to user id so there is a user to this id and that name will be displayed else will be unassigned right so you can even make it unassigned also you know, just make it unassigned you know and it should be gone from here right so let's refresh and see that is on a sign now you don't have that value anymore okay so it is updated now right if it, if you again assign to someone right go back and refresh your page are you gonna see the issue assigned to somebody right so issue assigned to the user okay so uh we yeah so that is all for this part right assigning issue to the user so let me yeah. so before we commit i think one more thing we can do right we can refactor this code uh where is this uh this part you know so something called toast right uh, toast toast is used for displaying error message or success or whatever right so let's say here toast notification how are we gonna add toast notification because when you're updating or doing something how are you gonna do that right so there is a library called react hot hot toast you can you know just search in google right install that one so let me cancel out from here npm install react hot post so once you install that uh next is you know once you install you can use that right by calling inside your page so where are we going to use this uh inside our assign select let's use here right assign select so there is a toast and toaster right coming from the react hot toast okay now you're going to display this toaster component somewhere where you want to display uh maybe uh let's do it below this root right below this select okay so call that toaster like that fine now that is done next thing is you have to pass the message now to this toast right so how are we going to do that so where we have error where might be the error case so yeah i mean uh this axios right this axios things can go inside the this whole thing can go inside a try catch block right so let's put that and you know try like this and guess right so there will be error 
so put this here fine but if there is an error right then you're gonna call that uh, post and just pass the i think the error property we have to pass something like post dot error right yeah just call that one you know okay so that will be string so make sure it is a string right that is what we have to pass not back tick, but a string fine change cool not saved right so even here you know like if you update you can add like post dot success is there success right yes and the updated successfully I'll just call it a user updated right user updated. so you can use the toast everywhere you have something like some changes happening in the database uh you know any situation you need to display right success or failure you can use a toast so let's try now let's try let's go back and that is all you have to do you know so let's see so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna unassign you see updated user updated right look at that so within a few seconds it will be out again okay it will be gone right yeah so if there is some error then we should get that error message how so let's put the maybe i'll just put here x just make the you know api error so i'll just click now on the sign I mean there is an error right i don't know why it did not display requested fail right yeah oh okay okay so it it goes try catch right okay so it go here and quickly update that and yeah, that's not good yeah so it's just running right uh th that is not good so it should run this error, you know. Uh, try that. I don't know why it didn't work. So that is fine. That is the error. Okay, so I think I don't know why. Let, let's remove this for now, right? Let's not experiment too much. So let's see if now, if there is an error, it should work or not, right? And change. So I'm getting this error with this status code. Yeah, I'm getting that error, right? But basically this one is not triggering trigger, right? This one is not trigger. Yeah, because we are also not using await uh, async await function. Maybe that's why. Because the only way we can use try catch, right? When you have async await so what will be the solution if i don't want to let's say if async if i put async await uh and then try now right yeah so it worked yeah so now it's grabbing the error right so the next thing i can do is uh you know add the toast for success also and we call it user updated successfully good so let's just remove this error message save and update again and user update successfully good so try catch block works in the async await only right I just put try catch without using async await. If not, I, I should have used that dot then method and or maybe dot catch method, right? If there is just catch for error, you know, we can I should have done that one. That should also work. But anyway, guys, I think uh that is all for this section, right? Uh you know, the next one is filter sorting and pagination. So let's start this too, right? What I will do tomorrow and day after tomorrow. Two days we're gonna complete this filter sorting and pagination. This is long, I believe. Yeah, and then you know, then what we will do is next uh, dashboard and the dashboard and the deployment, right? 
we can talk on monday or friday saturday and sunday i will have two video update right small small video uh, you guys can if you have time look at if not we're gonna talk on monday but we'll see if we can finish this i mean i know this will be long i know that so uh, let's stop here for now let's no, no need to us